I pretty much had an image in my mind that most people in the world are Jewish and most Jews are ultra-Orthodox. When I was 19 was the first time I got, got access to internet, and I was like, okay, I have to check. So I found the like, Hebrew Wikipedia page about trans people. I couldn't read English at that point. Only, I was only able to read in Hebrew. My life was never the same after that. I'm Abby Stein. I was raised in the Hasidic community in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. I identify as a woman of trans experience. The Hasidic community in Williamsburg is probably one of the most sheltered communities definitely in the U.S., perhaps even in the world. Everything is different. I was raised without internet, TV, movies, Broadway shows, music, magazines. I couldn't have a conversation in English until I was 20. In the Hasidic community, men shaved their head. I hated that I had to shave. I would have loved to have long hair. Now it's just as different as it gets, at least in terms of like facial hair or like anything like that. Growing up, I always identified more with the f feminine part, with the females in my family, in my community. Every time that I try to tell myself it's not that you're a girl, it's something else is a problem, I would start battling with depression and got to a point where I realized, hey, this is not a life, I have to do something. When I left the community I was raised in, I didn't know how to dress or how to talk to people, and I had to figure out everything from scratch. And in some ways, that's exactly what I'm doing now in terms of transition on the gender spectrum. People tell me a lot, oh, you're so brave, you're so strong. And I always feel like, I don't know, I only did what I have to do to survive. And if there's one thing that I could go back and tell myself when I was six years old, 12 years old, it's no, there are other people like you.